A local domestic violence agency is now asking the community to help them. The largest emergency shelter for Transitions Family Violence Services experienced significant water damage a few months ago. And it's impacting how they serve the community. Nico Clemens lets you know how you can help. It's limited what we can do right now. They've been a safe haven on the peninsula more than 40 years. We've been really vocal for the last few years to make sure that people know that we're here. Transitions Family Violence Services, located in Hampton. The agency provides safety, empowerment, and resources for survivors of domestic violence. Last year, providing almost 5,000 nights of shelter to more than 150 people nearly 70 of them children. But now the organization is going through some tough times of its own. It was just more than we expected to take care of. So now there's some unexpected costs associated with this. Executive Director Sanu Jang says a sprinkler system went off in their largest emergency shelter and the flooding was devastating. It's here they provide 23 beds for women and children. Jang says that they operate several safe houses throughout the peninsula, but they're at capacity now and the damage is affecting them greatly. Well, this does limit us a bit. We don't have the capacity that we're used to. There are some things that we need to um, refill in there, so some furniture and some different items like that uh, to get us back up and running. Now they're asking the community to help them rebuild. They started a GoFundMe, and the contributions are coming in. Around this time of year, people are providing gifts for their family and their friends, and so to extend those gifts to us, um, we just, we, we're truly grateful. Jang wants survivors to know they're rebuilding as quickly as possible. We're still here, and we're still here for you. To create that safe environment. In Hampton, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.